We have seen major innovations within the last millennium. The printing press, the light bulb, the internet, all have brought us major advances across the world. This technology has been built upon literacy. Literacy is progress. Then why is it acceptable for someone to be illiterate in mathematics? Technology is increasing every day. And math is the universal language of this technology. Mathematics is the literacy of tomorrow. If we as a nation do not keep pace with the rest of the world in this progress, we will be a third world country in the next 50 years. The U.S. used to be the forefront in math and science and technology. We even brought a man to the moon. But now the U.S. barely keeps up. China, India, they are leading with innovation, all because their students and their citizens do not fear mathematics. Fear, now that's an interesting word. So you're saying that we are afraid of math? Yes. 70% of parents need help teaching their own children mathematics. And the Boston Globe in 2009 stated that 75% of the teachers failed their math certification test. These are new teachers. Okay, why have you decided to take on math literacy? Uh, well, I was a rocket scientist for almost 10 years. Now, wait a minute. Everybody uses the term rocket I know, scientist. I know. What did you do and where? What exactly was it? <laughs> I worked for the Boeing Company, mm. and my role was a reliability engineer. My responsibility was to make sure that there was going to be no catastrophic explosions during flight. As I was sitting there in this room as a rocket scientist, I looked to left and right when we were preparing for our space shuttle main engine briefings, and I realized I would be the only person left after people were scheduled to retire within the next five years. There's so few people going into math and science fields that there will be a lack of individuals to make sure planes fly, <laughs> that... to put satellites in the air, to verify that our basic structure of living will be maintained. Now you've, you've identified the problem, what's the solution? Ah, there are ways to eliminate the fear. I have created a program, www.acemath123 is my website, and it's acemath123. It shows mathematics in three ways. One, by making math real, showing that math isn't something that's just in a book, it's real life. Mm -hmm. The second step is eliminating math phobia by understanding how the student thinks. How are they perceiving their mathematics? How are they perceiving their study patterns? And the third aspect is showing math as the universal language of technology. Mm. Math is a universal language that the entire world knows. We have to know it too. All right, you've won okay. me over. You've convinced okay. me. I have, I have a fear of math. Now, how do I get over this? <laughs> well, it's you and 90% of the population feels the same way. Well, mathophobia presents itself in several different types of symptoms. And these symptoms, I like to describe it as different types of people who learn mathematics. Okay. Okay. Quincy the quitter. <laughs> Quincy is a person who, once he looks at the mathematics and opens up the book, he becomes paralyzed. He doesn't know what to do. He looks at this information and automatically thinks he's going to fail it. If he understands that he can ask for help, then he'll be successful. Okay. And then there's Donna the overdoer. <laughs> Donna is wonderful at everything except mathematics. She's good at history, English, literature, dance. But when she studies mathematics, she studies day and night and she still fails tests. She does not understand the strategy behind solving math problems. Okay, mm -hmm. next. Next, it's Samuel the struggler. <laughs> Samuel sees differently. His brain literally works differently. If he understands how his brain works, mm -hmm. because sometimes Samuel is a person that can transpose numbers, or let's say he's a person that looks at the board and cannot write and read and watch at the same time. If he understands how his brain works, then he too can be excellent at mathematics. Well, anybody else in this group? Yes. <laughs> the last person. Crystal the Criticizer. <laughs> <laughs> now, Crystal is notorious for blaming everybody else for her math errors. 
the teacher didn't show me the same way as my fifth grade teacher. Or she may say, the tutor showed me wrong. Once she understands that she's responsible for her own learning, mm -hmm. then she too will be successful. If you go to my website, www.acemath123.com, you'll receive free tips on how to succeed in mathematics. And there too, you'll see information about my upcoming book, Mathophobia Be Gone. <laughs> Feel free to visit it, www.acemath123.com. Parents, students, and teachers will see that they're not alone and that there is a solution to this problem.